Hey, what's up, YouTube? Here we are again. Um, we are in Curse of Aeroth. It is a game that I have picked up, and I've been playing the crap out of, and I've been super excited and enjoying and stoked. I was not 100% sure if I wanted to make content on it for my channel, but then I was like, you know what? There's some content for this game, but it's still in early access, so it's still early on for this game, so I feel like it can jump in on the ground floor of making content, and I can be a big pro YouTuber. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, I just thought that it would be cool to make some content for this game. I'm really enjoying it, and I feel like there's been a lot, of, like, over the past, like, two weeks I've seen, it seems like there's been a big influx of new players, um, just jumping in on this game and just there's been tons and tons of questions of like of, of similar questions like of what to do so here we are I'm going to make you a beginner's tips beginner's guide um, to Curse of Aeros so this is just like things that I've seen either in chat asked or on discord or just you know that I've seen been asked and asked and asked so I figured I would make a video of it so first thing I'm going to start off with is controls so or, it, your HUD and controls uh, so we've got obviously in the middle of your screen is your player right here um, so on the bottom right is your important buttons you've got the top bottom right button is your interact button so this is for opening doors uh, mining picking stuff up stuff like that your bottom right button is your sword so uh, or your bottom right button is your attack button so you can either tap once to attack or hold to continuously attack um, so in the top right here of your screen we've got your settings and then your inventory, which we're going to go ahead and equip this. Get a crappy little sword to begin with. Ooh. And then uh, this brings me to my first tip. Tip number one. Open this box. Gift. Level five. Every ten levels besides the first level. Well, first, le first time is level five. But after that, every ten levels, you get free crap out of this box just open it open the box open the box you get free loot or like free gear you get swords stuff like that you get free crap out of this box um, every 10 levels that you you know every 10 levels you level up this box uh, gives you new gear so just open it open the box because you get gear in here that people sometimes will try to sell because they know new players might buy it. So, that's my tip. Tip number one is open the box. Uh, continuing on the controls, bottom left, we've got your uh, control directional pad touchscreen. This is all touchscreen, by the way. And then top left, you've got your level, your health, bar which is the red bar and then below that health bar is your combat experience bar or your level bar level experience so if you tap on your level it will bring up this this screen is your um, level up points screen so this I will go into later um, but then this brings me to my second tip which is your skills so you got mining in the top left you've got smithing in the top right and then below mining on the left is wood cutting which that is supposedly coming soon and then below your smithing you have potion making or crafting I'm not sure which um, I forget actually I've looked it up, and they've they've said what they're gonna what it is and stuff. Um, but I don't remember at the time. 
and then on your bottom left you've got fishing and bottom right you've got cooking which I thought that was fire making but apparently it's cooking um, so those are the skill the mining smithing and your combat are the three skills you have currently to work on um, but they're planning on adding these other ones and I'm sure many more as the game grows and gets bigger and, and has more time like I said this is still an early early access it's it's super early on they have done a ton of stuff and they are doing a lot of good job and they put a lot of content in like as even right now um, and it's just exciting to see that they're going to be putting even more content in so I'm excited about that and that'll be Ooh, excuse me yawn sorry just woke up a little bit ago so still a little tired um anyways but they, they it's just exciting to see that they're going to be putting way more into this so I've gone over my first two tips. Tip number three is NPCs. So there are a few NPCs around the uh, around the game. Uh, the first and most important one is the merchant. He's right here. Uh, it's kind of hard. You probably won't ever see his face because he's always buried in players. <laughs> but the merchant, you see a merchant level 100. So. The merchant here, scroll up. So you got the your buy screen here from this merchant. He's got potions, keys, um, in-game or premium currency items, stuff like that um, that you can buy. But he's also got gear, which, like I said, all this gear you can you get in the box. You get in the box. Don't don't buy this gear. You get. All the way up to crim steel in the box. From the box, you get crim all all the way up to crim steel. Don't buy that gear. The gear you might have to buy is the blue, this mythin gear right here. That stuff you may have to buy it. it. You might be able to find it cheaper from a player. You probably will be able to find it cheaper from a player. But just remember, you can also purchase it from the merchant. Um. So, that's that. The goblin trader up here, he is the premium currency merchant. So, all this stuff is cosmetic. It's literally just cosmetics. It's no stat changes, no stat upgrades, no extra health, no extra damage, nothing. Nothing like that. It is purely 100% cosmetic, and that's another thing I love about this game. They have flat out said this game will not ever be pay to win never everything will be 100 percent cosmetic and i love that about the game um i it the, yeah just that's amazing and by the way this is not a sponsored video i'm not getting paid by the devs to to bump this video or to bump this game and make a video about it but devs if you want to if you want to throw some money my way, uh, I will, uh, you can catch me on MySpace. <laughs> MySpace is dead. No, I'm just kidding. For real though, this game, I, I, I'm not being, I'm not being paid or anything, endorsed, blah, blah, blah. I'm not getting anything out of this to make this video about this game. It's just an exciting game for me. It brings me back to my, like, high school days when I was playing RuneScape with my friends and I was just like yeah it, it, I just love it I love the grinding experience style I like the art style the pixel the the 8-bit pixel kind of graphics on it and the just skill the skill mining and stuff like that I love it I love it wow um, so uh, these aren't NPCs, but these are also just other things I wanted to bring up. Um, so, this right here is the um, boxer boxing room. So you box bars 
you can box bars and you can box just the ores of themselves that you mine. You can put them into boxes and the boxes stack so you can get more inventory or you can get more quantity into your inventory. And that's strictly to sell. You can't smith or anything with that. That's just strictly to sell to other players. So if you need to, if you're wanting to buy, mine a bunch of ore and then try to sell it to players, you gotta box it and then sell the box, the boxed ore to the player. Just gives you more room. Um, then over here to the right of spawn, you've got your smelting room or smithing hub, they call it. I don't know, but it, you, you got your smelting, your various bars and whatnot that you can do. And then right here, once you make those bars, you can go here and you can make your armor and, and gear out of those bars. Pretty simple, pretty similar to uh, RuneScape and games like that. So, uh, this, that's pretty much it for the NPCs. There's some other hub areas like this around the map. But they're basically the same. Some stuff's just moved around. But that that's for another video if we if we get that far. This is just for beginners. Just want to try to help them out and give them a guide. So back to this merchant here. So if you go to the bottom of this merchant, here we are. This is tip number three. Or tip number four. I forget numbers. <laughs> this is tip number four. So tip number four is buy your pickaxe from the merchant. The merchant has pickaxes. You don't have to buy them from players um, until you get past Crim Steel, which I think is level 50 or 60-ish in mining. I don't know, somewhere in there. But for a while, you just buy them from the merchant. It's got bronze, iron, steel, Crim Steel. Okay, maybe it's level 40, I guess, because this Crim Steel is mining level 30. So maybe 40, I don't know. But you can buy quite a bit of your pickaxes just from the merchant. So, this leads me into tip number 5, which is going to be your ore locations, which... Um, I have seen tons and tons and tons and tons of times spammed all over chat, Discord, everything. Um, but what you do for mining, oh, get out of here, chat. What you do for mining is you buy, you purchase a pick from the merchant, or if you're higher level, you purchase it from a player if you need to. And then you will go to a rock, which this rock right here that I'm standing in front of is a copper ore rock. So you walk up to the rock you need, you tap on it, 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 you tap the, sorry, tap the top right bottom button, the, the top right button on the bottom that has the picture of the rock on it. You tap on that, your player will start mining, he'll mine, his continu mine continuously until that rock is exhausted of ore. So then you'll go to another rock, do the same thing, rinse, repeat. So that's basically what you do for mining. Super easy, super simple, super grindy. I love it. Once you take those uh, to know what you need of specific ores to smelt, you go into this ore smelting, and we'll look at bronze bar here. So we need two copper ore, or two uh, two bronze ore, and then two tin. So to make every single bar, you need two bronze ore, two copper. Is it two? Is it two copper, two tin? I don't know. Hold on one second. We're going to go check something. Because I don't even know. It's been so long since I've mined. Okay, it is copper. My bad. Copper and tin. So, yeah. These are your different cores. Yeah. So, um, yeah. But. So, you need two copper and two tin ore for every bronze bar you want to make. So, um, what I did with my mining and smithing. I kept my mining and smithing equal level. Like whenever I was able to mix the, make mine the next ore, I would make sure that my smithing was up to level to be able to smelt that 
or to smith that new or you know um but like i said you just i i did that up until i got to um I actually did that all the way up until I got to Mythen, um, because it gets a little out of hand because you need like 10 of one ore and five of the other. So, but up until then I would just mine an inventory, go smith it and then make it into gear and then sell the gear to the merchant. So that's what I did. It's up to you. You can do it however you want. Um, that was just the easiest way for me. So. We're going to hop over, we're going to look at two maps. One of them is just going to be a general world map, and then the other one is going to be a or locations map. Um, these are both player made, or community made, I guess. Um, but I will leave links to them in some form, I'm not sure. But I will make sure that you guys can look at them to, to have them for yourself. There we go. So, this first one right here is the general, just the map of the whole world. Um, there's one location missing from this, and that's the, um, uh, Varaxius area, but that's a high level area, and the only ore in there, or the only stuff in there, that, that's, an, that's for another video, you know, if we get there. It's high level stuff, you guys won't worry about it right now, you have to be over level 65 to get there anyways. So yeah, right here in the middle of the screen is our spawn. Uh, and then, yeah, 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 I mean, you can just look around, like, just, yeah, that's, that's a basic map. Here's the important one, like I said, you can either stop now, screenshot it, and you'll have it, or I, uh, I'll have a link to it in the description, so you can get a hold of it. But it shows you all the ore locations, where they're at, um, as you can see, here's spawn, the little, the little crudely drawn chest and uh, hammer and little box there is the spawn area and then the um, you know it's color coordinated it's pretty self-explanatory but you go there you just look at this find out where the rocks are and just go there and mine them man like that's what I did I try in in this area right here this is uh, be careful in this area, I'll, I'll explain it in a minute. So, that leads me on to my next uh, tip, which is tip six, explore. Explore the map. Just go around, walk aimlessly, and explore the map. The only place that you have to be worried about mobs attacking you or players is in PvP areas, and this is one of them. See, it says warning dangerous PvP, and that snake killed me. Whatever, I don't care, it's fine. Um, I literally had no XP. So in the PvP area, uh, in this area, um, you will lose 5% of your gold if you die to a player, and 5% of your XP if you die to a mob, creature, monster, whatever you want to call them. So, if you die to a player, if you don't have any gold on you, it doesn't matter. I've got like 150 gold on me. It doesn't matter if you die to a player. If you have no gold in your inventory, because you can bank your gold. So just always bank your gold unless you're buying stuff. Just throw it in your bank. Just keep it in your bank. You don't need it unless you're buying something. And then if you walk through here, get cute, get killed, doesn't matter. If you get killed by a player, doesn't matter. You don't lose any gold. So just do it that way. Uh, you do need to watch out for mobs in the PvP area. But this is the only play this is the only area that will that mobs will attack you or um players will attack you. That's the PvP areas are the only areas you need to worry about and they'll blatantly let you know when you go into those areas. There's one other safe PvP area. Um but that's even then it doesn't matter. So that's my suggestion. Explore the map. You'll find mobs. Not like none of these mobs will attack me. I can walk wherever I want. None of them will attack me unless I attack first. So as long as you don't attack, you're good to go. None of the players will attack you, anything like that. Just walk around, explore. 
that's tip number six. So, tip number seven. So, now, I showed you how to do mining and smithing. The only other skill that we have currently, as of right now, like I said, they're doing a lot. They've got lots of stuff they want to add into this game. Tons and tons of content and, and tons and tons of things they want to add. So, as of right now, you've got your smithing, mining, and your combat. So, combat. Training your combat is as simple as taking your little stick you got here and smacking mobs. So, that's all you need to do to <laughs> level up combat. And then every... We're going to go over this now. Um, every... Every level you get, you get two... You get two points to spend. Um, so, this is going to be these are going to be two tips back to back, kind of. Um, first tip is tip seven is to go to task. This board right here, this board right next to the the spawn area, this board right here, as you can see, has an interact option. So right here, you just, you have all these options to kill bats. So just go in, accept all these tasks, and then when you complete them, you'll get crap. Like, see, it shows you, gives you XP, gold, and a reward. Like, you get free stuff, man. Just go in there, check your tasks, do them like that. The tasks stay around your level, so they don't give you stuff that you really can't handle to kill, and they don't give you, like, super weak stuff. Um, so check your tasks, do it that way. That's an easy, quick way to level up. You're already killing things to get experience. This is just giving you extra experience for killing specific mobs. So go check your tasks. That leads me into point spec, like I was saying. So... Every level you level up, you get two points to spend. As of right now, as of recording this video, currently, the meta, <clears throat> the meta for putting your points in is accuracy and strength. You want to focus solely on accuracy and strength. Don't put any points into HP or defense. Um, yeah, so, accuracy and strength are what you want to focus on, uh, because you get HP and defense from your gear that you wear, and you get more defense and HP than you do attack, uh, from your, from your gear, so, as of right now, Focus solely on putting your points into accuracy and strength in equal amounts. So one point accuracy, one point strength, and then every level. Just keep doing that. You can always reset it. So, uh, yeah. The only other thing that I have for this video is I'm going to leave a link to the Discord and the Wiki for this game. I highly suggest you join both of them. And, well, I mean, you don't have to join Wiki. But I would highly suggest you check out the Wiki page. And look <coughs> into that Wiki page if you have any questions on anything. Um, there's a lot of, lot, lot, lot of information on there. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, the Discord is super, super helpful. There's a ton of people there um, working on stuff and um, just doing stuff in general. Uh, a lot of helpful people on there if you got questions. <laughs> Otherwise, I know. Hi, handsome. I'm sorry you're angry. <laughs> Son just woke up, so he's angry. Hey. He's got some things to say, too. Um, but yeah, definitely join the Discord. Uh, it, I would suggest that you do. Um, 
gives you a lot of information about the game. Uh, there's just cool people in there, you know. It's a good community. Um, otherwise, you can ask in chat if you got any questions. But a lot of the a lot of this community is super helpful and is up to helping out people. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's my uh, beginner guide tips whatever for Chris of Aeros. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful. I know it's a slightly long video. My bad. I talk a lot. I noticed that. That's why I thought I'd be good on YouTube, you know? I talk a lot. People watch people talk on the internet. Like, I thought I'd be a perfect fit for YouTube, you know? I don't know. Hope you guys had a, have an amazing week, an amazing month, amazing year, amazing life. Uh, love you guys very much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.